I don't know. Just make it. Have fun. I mean, the whole thing is like, I don't know. I've said this before, and I, I think it's not like a broken record, but it's like, honestly, I think, like, you, once you stop giving a shit about, like, your brand or your image and realize you're small, like I am, like, it's just like, fucking, I don't know. Your sky's the limit. You're like, hey, this is fun. Dude, I feel so much better. You'll see the next videos I made. They're so stupid, but I like them. And this is like, and I don't know, just like enjoying the act of filming, you know? And just creating for the sake of creating. I think people will appreciate that too. Okay, today's video is talking shit about Kelly Morita. Cool. Okay. That's some white chick vlogger that I just don't like because she's pretentious. Hey guys, oh, there's Radry over there. What's up, dudes? Yeah, guys, uh, he's over at Rad Culture or R A D R E Y. Links down below. Uh, I've been helping him out recently with his stuff, and he's doing good things. He's got an awesome podcast where he has sex with women on, on live chat Always. for Omegle. <laughs> Omegle. And uh, anyway, Rad, it was fun hanging out today, but I got to get going. Spray hard and fierce, Rad. Uh, message me later. Yeah. Cool. I'll tell you about that night boss shit. Alright, see ya. Ugh. Yo, 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 what the fuck is up out there? All you sexy people out there on the YouTube stars. It's your good old buddy Papa Tico, and I am live here again in the J-Land. Here today I'm in Kita Akabane Station, and I'm going all the way back to Nakano Shimbashi, my guest house, the sexual of all sexualness. And uh, welcome back, everybody. Uh, uh, por que, Maria? Por que? Uh, like always, this is Tikio Rants. We upload every Thursday or Wednesday, 6 a.m. Uh, Tokyo time. And these are the Rant Rambles where I talk about my life. Now, before I get into the topic today or do any of the stuff I normally do, just take in mind, Big Warner, <laughs> Warner Big Warner Brothers. Yeah, hot sex. Big warning, this is not... An invitation to go build, like bully or be mean to anyone. These are just simply my opinions about a certain other individual who's here on the internet and my thoughts about them. This isn't necessarily talking shit. It's just I have some criticism and I want to I wanna express it in video. So, uh, yeah, guys, with that in mind, um, if you go over and you hate on her, you're a piece of shit and I'm not endorsing any of that. Uh, that being said, uh, <laughs> if any of her viewers, I'm guessing a couple, come over here and are angry at the video. Hey guys, uh, well welcome, thanks for the views. Even if you download, down like the video, you still fucking engage the shit, so whatever. But, you know, with that being said, I feel like people, when you put yourself on the internet, you gotta allow, your, you're opening yourself up to criticism. And I'm not trying to slander anybody, I'm not trying to be liable in this video, I'm just stating facts that I've seen in her video. I'm not going on forums, I'm not going uh, by hearsay from other people that I can't confirm. I'm strictly going off of uh, my personal experiences with this person and uh, and you know like her the videos that she's posted. So uh, that being said, let's jump into it. Uh, yeah, I always like to give a question and that is what do you guys think about uh, Kelly Morita or Strawberry Mochi or Kelly in Japan or whatever fucking name she's going by now. And uh, also tell me in the comments down below uh, you know, do you watch any women in Japan? I'm curious because I, I don't watch that many and uh, I'm curious. I need to find some more vloggers to check out. So uh, let me know uh, down in those comments below. Don't write down the URL, just write down the name. Otherwise the mods, uh, the auto mod thing will just like uh, cancel your comments. So uh, yeah, and um, yeah, with that being said, big shout out to today's sponsor. Uh, Nakano Shimbashi Guest House. It's the cheapest fucking guest house in Tokyo, under $300 a month, central location, no fucking long term contracts or bullshit fees. If you're coming to Japan and you want to stay for the whole tourist visa or even stay for 13 years like me, it's a great place to be. So, uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for the sponsor. Go check out the link down below in the description and tell them Papa Tikyo sent you. Uh, yeah. As for other shit, well, uh, tonight we're going through Tokyo, and I'm gonna take random routes that I've never taken to get back home. I don't know exactly where I'm going or how I'm going there, but it's gonna be fun. 
this is gonna be fun I know this area roughly right now we're in northern Tokyo and uh, yeah it's funny Akabane oh shit yeah 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 hey wait a second I I want to go uh, here wait, I'm going this way I want to I want to go past this fucking train station that's by here um, but uh, yeah guys anyway um, yeah Kelly Morita she is just uh, she's a white chick she's a young white chick on Japan YouTubes and uh, she does these really kind of pretentious videos pretentious can't say words uh, pretentious videos uh, they come off pretentious to me videos on YouTube which is basically like hey I'm a, hey I'm a white chick in Japan yeah like look at me absorb all this culture <laughs> and uh, her videos frustrate me <laughs> they make me like you know at one part I'm like her videos are nice like her videos are really cool she has a certain style and production value to her videos that a lot of other people don't and there's parts of her videos where she comes out like she's very genuine but at the same time I feel <laughs> that there's just certain things about her that I've gotten from her channel that I don't like and now take in mind you know like there's probably there's probably more people that don't like me that like her uh, that don't like her and but the thing is, is like I'm okay with that you know I'm okay with kind of wearing my my bullshit on my badge uh, you know like as badges of honor on my fucking on my sleeves you know like okay yeah I'm fat yeah 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 I say F words like it's candy um, uh, let's try and get this mic better yeah, hopefully the mic's fine yeah the mic's good um, <laughs> you know I know that there's a you know I've got the I've got a sailor's mouth and a, and a child's face <laughs> So there's obviously things about me that uh, people might not like immediately, which is fine, you know, everyone's superficial or whatever, but I'm not talking about her, uh, like her physical appearance. Like, you know, for all, you know, she's actually quite attractive um, and she's obviously not overweight or anything, you know, and she seems to have a nice kind of soft demeanor about herself, but I don't like the way that, uh, there's a couple things I don't like about her in her videos and one it's just like I noticed that the more I've been watching her uh, her videos garner more and more views and it's more about like the kind of person she represents in Japan versus uh, who she is as like overall as a person because I don't know her I've only met her in person once and she was nothing but nice and cordial the whole time but um, basically she is a woman who is from America Midwest she came to Japan because she really liked Japan and she came over on the jet program apparently from what her videos say and uh, after like a couple years she started probably teaching English at other um, she started teaching English at like uh, Akaiwas or like private I think she said she taught at private English schools and uh, yeah she like that's what that's what she did and she did that until she got married to a Japanese guy who I guess is American or he's Japanese but he lived in the States I really don't know his situation but um, yeah like that's her life progression here in Japan she she stayed here she was an English teacher she got married and now she's like a housewife <laughs> she stopped working and uh, yeah I don't know I just I, her channel is really it's popular it's getting those views you know she's got a couple viral videos especially her first like the first in her series and oh shit let's pause for a second let's pause we are at shimo fucking shimo station oh my god if you guys ever look at my uh, go <laughs> this is a shout out check out my video uh the time lewis ck uh got me fired in japan i worked for this mormon couple that lives in this area helping them export goods and uh they fucking fired me because I had an opinion about Louis C.K. And, <laughs> and my opinion was that he didn't do anything wrong. You're consenting adults. If you don't want to have somebody jerk off in front of you, fucking say it. You know, don't be a little, uh, you know, don't say it's okay and then fucking just backtrack like a little bitch. And well, that's, <laughs> so that says a lot about me for any of you guys who don't know me. But anyway, those assholes live in this fucking area. And instead of just telling me that they had a problem with me, uh, they, she had to have her husband come and tell me that. As at like a Japanese lesson, it's so fucking stupid. 
Like uh, that woman is one of the most condescending person. Like his wife, that Mormon ex Mormon person, the most condescending, fucking just egotistical feminist bitch that I've ever seen. Like you know, Mormons are known for passive aggressiveness, but goddamn. Well, uh, but anyway, that's one of the reasons I wanted to go down this road, just to go down memory memory lane of remembering those people. Um, oh shit. Can I go down this? Uh, I want to turn right. 318. This will get me all the way to Nakano. Cool. Um, but anyway, <laughs> on that side note, yeah, check out that video, guys. It's pretty good. But uh, as for the Kelly Morita thing, it's just like, I, so she makes vlogs about her life. You know, it's like, it seems to be such a trend of a lot of female vloggers. Like, they'll, you know, it's like, hey, I'm a, I eat vegan because I got weird food allergies. I've got I've got mental disorder. I've got mental stress. I can't trust Japanese men. <laughs> like, like I, I have all these weird stories because these people that I gave chances to ended up being pieces of shit and I was betrayed and man. <laughs> and it's just like, I love it because like if any dude made videos like that in Japan, unless they're attractive and soft-spoken, you'll never get sympathy. You'll never get sympathy as a dude for talking like that. So I always find it kind of bullshit when people throw that out there. Oh, is this, this is 318. Oh shit, we're going through Tokiwada. Okay, well we can still cut through. It's still not bad. Okay, we're just gonna go all the way through here and then cut through Ikebukuro. Cool. Oh man, oh look the train. Oh, can I see the train? I hope you guys can see that train. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so good. And I just realized the GoPro was staring at my dick the whole time. Um, <laughs> but her uh, her videos are not bad. I actually like a lot of her videos. They're nice. It's just the whole thing about how it just seems to be like her, Michaela, like this other white chick uh, uh, vlogger in Japan, Michaela, um, fucking Toki Doki Traveler. Like, all these chicks, it's always like, hey, guys, I had a lot of stress. And I'm like, dude, I don't know. Aside from Michaela, none of those people actually ever fucking learn Japanese. Uh, so it's just, um, and even if they do know Japanese, they never put it in their fucking videos. And uh, I guess that brings me to, I guess let me, let me open up the gripe. The gripe city, then. My complaints about this. So, uh, one, Kelly doesn't speak Japanese. She's been in Japan for like, what, seven, eight years or something? Like, she's been here for a long time. She does not know any fucking Japanese. Or if she does, she doesn't have, uh, she's never tried to do an actual jobby job with her Japanese. Uh, like, I feel that there's this whole kind of like expat community, a Western English speaking expat community here. And it's kind of like a dick, dick measuring contest. It's like, oh yeah, well, you know, aside from English teaching, what other job have you ever done? And, uh, you know, there's people that have come to Japan after college. And there's people that have come here with their, uh, like, husband or wife. And, uh, for, you know, people have come here as students. Like, there's people that have come here and some stay and some leave. And it's a mixed batch of both. People who wanted to move to Japan, sometimes they leave. And sometimes people who didn't want to move to Japan, they stay. It's a big mixed bag. But... Like, one of the big dick-waving dick waving things is, like, you know, do you speak Japanese? And do you speak it well enough to work in a company? And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of not, you know, exactly right now, at this very moment, I'm not one to talk. There was a point where my Japanese was really fucking good, and I could ace any fucking interview that I wanted to do. You know, they give me a fucking translation test, boom, I got it. And over the last, uh, like, however many years, this is my, you know, my my studying priorities have gone down and I don't care as much as before so you know it's like a it's like a muscle you use it and if you don't use it it gets weak but with Kelly she never fucking she says more than a couple phrases konnichiwa hello she doesn't like to film anybody in Japanese and if she does uh, film somebody who's Japanese they usually speak English and I hate that because if you're a popular vlogger and you're not speaking Japanese, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, what the hell are you doing? Uh, the same thing with that Dogen guy. Uh, the Dogen learns Japanese. His Japanese is, it's great. It's really good, but also he reads from a fucking script. 
Like, when was the last time he's on TV? Or he's out, like, at the supermarket having a random conversation. I want to see him then. Because it's, like, it gives a false sensibility of how, like, fucking super awesome and masterful these people are. And with the Kelly Morita thing, since she came here and she learned, like, she was just an English teacher the whole time, like, and now she, she's a housewife. It's like, dude, what did you do? Like, she's like, I want to be a creator. But if you look at her past videos, or at least the ones that I was browsing, I rarely see any fucking Japanese people there. It's mostly her being white with her white friends hanging out in Japan. Like, you go to any one of my fucking, uh, my live streams even, you'll see me talking to Japanese people. You go to any of my recent videos, you'll, you'll see me talking to Japanese people. I didn't have a lot of Japanese people in my old videos, but there were some. There were some. And, uh... I don't know, I just, I really don't like it when it's like somebody who's been here for that long and I'm like, dude, your Japanese should be so good that you can fucking call up people on the internet because I think the thing is, is that when your Japanese level is subpar or not that good, you're going to make a lot of, the, those people with the low Japanese skills, eventually they're going to have opinions, negative opinions about Japan. And if they're a person like her who has a good amount of fucking subscribers and viewers, whatever she says, those viewers are going to take it to heart because they're going to be like, oh shit, her husband's Japanese. Oh shit, she's been in Japan for a long time. Oh shit. When really it's like, has that woman ever really assimilated to Japan? Has she ever worked for a full-on hardcore Japanese company? Has she ever, uh, you know, like, has she ever done anything aside from English uh, and like dating Japanese men who speak English? Because it's just like, then you're just idolizing this person who lives in this fucking gaijin bubble. And I don't know about you guys, but when I came to Japan, I on purpose wanted to be as immersed in the Japanese pool of immersion as possible. You know, like I wanted to really just, I didn't want to dip my toes in. I wanted to just fucking belly flop into that shit with my dick hanging out and just being like, Geronimo! And shite. And... I don't know. I just, I feel when I watch her videos, it's like, dude, like, like, come on. Uh, I don't know. It just, it makes me feel that I, what the hell? Why is this guy tailgating me? He's got the high beams on too. Look, he's got the high beams. He's a high beam guy. What kind of car is that? Is that a Jeep? Well, um, and so it's like, yeah, her videos are usually like, you know, I had to, you know, <laughs> I love I love how she basically mixes mixes her videos with like a taste of like she'll have a slow motion, high HD, high exposure uh, video of some slow motion stuff, and then her giving like a, a very like knowledgeable narrative about like yeah hey you know this thing happened today and it was like it was like really cool like you know it changed my life. <laughs> I'm like yeah lady, keep doing that. That's funny. You know I find it amusing. Uh, I don't know, it's just like, again, there's nothing wrong with, like, being in, uh, being in a country and just enjoying it for the sake of enjoying it, versus just being, like, a bitter guy who's judging people. But, that being said, though, I think there is a false sense of, I don't know, false sense of security, or I guess, like, false sense of basically enjoying uh, something that's not real like I feel that like if you're in Japan there's so many like people give me shit all the time it's like you take video of Japanese people without their permission and it's like dude have you seen any of the early vloggers in Japan their whole videos are doing that like I remember I made a when I made my sushi roll video the video that went viral everyone was giving me shit about seeing people's faces in that fucking uh, in that video but guess what? You look up a big, sh uh, bigger vloggers like Sharla or fucking Rachel and June, and guess what? In their sushi roll videos, you can clearly see some Japanese people's faces too. Now, like, and, <laughs> but we're not hypocrites, Sam. Meh. And it's like, uh, I feel that when you're attractive and you're young, it's a lot more forgivable than if you're some fat guy. And I'm not putting this all on my all on my like you know my fat weebness <laughs> again like I said I own it but at the same time you gotta understand that human psychology pretty much just states that it's like we are superficial beings if we have somebody who we even have the slightest incl inclination of not liking and then there's something something about them that we don't like 
like, you know, they're fat or they got a lazy eye or whatever, then people will latch onto that and be like, you know what? Yeah, fuck you. And I think, what was it? It was like Mark Twain or Winston Churchill or somebody who said that quote being like, or no, no, it was Socrates. Socrates said that quote. He said, uh, the, when, when somebody in the argument starts throwing slander at people, you know that they've lost. Because it's like, you know, the, at the end of the day, if you can't, if you can't rebuttal my, conver- you know, like my topic or like my stance on this topic and you just say like, hey, shut up, fat fuck. <laughs> it's like, OK, I won. I won. You know, same thing with that fucking KC Hong Kong cut guy who uh, wants to fuck uh, Daniel hiding in my room's wife. You know, he's like, I was like, dude, your whole video, your whole channel <coughs> is just videos of you talking shit about this guy. You could make other videos and no one could give a shit about you. But, you know, you all you make is drama videos, and that's all you are, you piece of fucking leeching shit. And he's like, yeah, well, at least I'm not fat. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> like, I won. I won. It wasn't like, well, actually, uh, you know, I, I find that, uh, you know, Daniel is somebody who I need to talk about. And, and I feel that the world needs to know more about him because I personally don't feel good about the way he's treated women. And, and no, it's just like, shut up, fatty. <laughs> it's like, I won. I won. Uh, and so it's like with Miss Kelly Morita. Uh, well, let me tell you guys a story. So I met her in person long time ago when I used to do the YouTube Hanami. <laughs> Go, Mr. Mr. Postman. Mr. Telephone Man. Something along my line. Um, when I used to host the YouTube Hanami, which is a completely other fucking story. Uh, yeah, fuck that guy who runs it, by the way. That guy's a piece of shit. Um, <clears throat> but... Uh, when I was running the YouTube Hanami here in Tokyo, I met, uh, her name at the time I think was Strawberry Mochi, and she was with her friend Tofu Gugu, or Tofu, Tofu Do, I forgot his fucking name, it's like Sweet Tofu Cakes or something, and he's on Twitch, but these guys, they were so nice to me, I went up to him, I was like, hey, how's it going, they were hanging outside the bar, and I was just checking in, saying hi, they were totally nice, and then, uh, they were friends of this one girl, named, uh, fuck, Christine or Kristen or something. She's this chick living down in Osaka, I think. And she was, this girl basically made a video, a separate girl made a video about how she uh, was feeling bad. She felt so bad because her grandpa died and her company would not give her time off to go to the funeral. But this girl, you know, she didn't have any savings. Like she didn't have any savings and she obviously was spoiled growing up or something because you know the world is not this nice equal place where everybody gets to be nice and treat everyone equally and with respect the world is mean and heartless and this uh, this girl like she was just like my grandpa died and if i uh, my boss said that if i go on fired i'm like well fuck that place why would you want to be there and she's like well i have my apartment and you know my apartment's really expensive if i don't go and i'm like Dude, I understand you want to vent, but learn, take this as a learning experience and like, you know, you got to get out of there. And it's like, you fuck you, man. Fuck you, Sam. And then the strawberry mochi and the tofu guy and all these other people jumped to their friend's side to defend her. Fine, but they didn't like, you know, there's a difference between defending your friend and speaking from a calm and rational point of view. And instead of being like, well, Sam, like, look, you know, she's still young and, and, uh, Oh, I love this road. It always smells like fucking incense. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, ramen adventures. I remember you live around here. Yeah, you sexy bastard. I always, I always think of you when I fucking smell that. Oh, it smells so good. Anyway, um, so, you know, instead of being like, you know, Sam, she's young and like, you, you know, you gotta allow people. This is like one of those things where the traumatizing stuff from our youth helps us grow into the hardened but sympathetic and empathetic adults that we turn into later on. But instead they were just like, fuck you, you fat fuck. <laughs> like again, it's just like, fuck you fatty. You're just so mean. I never liked that TQ Sam guy. He was mean to my friend like one time and she was totally not at fault for anything. Oh my God. And it's just like stupid fucking young people, you know? It's just, uh. And so again, it's like the hypocrisy. It's the hypocrisy. <laughs> As my buddy says, uh, the worst part about Cosby was he was a hypocrite. And I said, I don't think that was the worst part. (laughs) 
me, the worst part was the raping. <laughs> Way up high. <laughs> and then the second would be the drugging. <laughs> and then the third would be the, the scheming. But anyways, hypocrisy would be way fucking down the line, you know, like on the fourth page or some shit. Yeah, it's just the hypocrisy of it all. It's like, and these people, uh, they're getting more views than me, which is fine. <laughs> and it's like, uh, you know, it's part of the game, whatever, you know. But at the same point, it's just like, again, these kids, these kids, it's like everybody is so nice to your face because they're too afraid to say how they feel about you to your face. That's one thing that I hope if any of you guys ever fucking take anything back from what I am, like, you know, who I am as a person, is that if I talk shit about somebody, I have the expectation that somebody's, that person is five minutes away and they heard exactly what I'm going to say, and I don't back down about what I fucking said about somebody. And these people, again, it's like, it's so easy. It seems like all of these uh, small or fucking younger or, like, popular YouTubers, they'll talk shit behind somebody's back and, you know, it's like Tony Soprano said, you know, who gives a shit or who gives a fuck about somebody who doesn't have the balls to talk shit to your face? And that's fine. And that's fine. Usually, you know, it's like, oh, you were nice to me and then I heard you talk shit. Ah, oh, fuck you, you know, whatever. But this is a video <laughs> about me being critical about her. So it, it seems, like a, seems like a good part of the story to mention here to help... Uh, you know, explain my overall perspective of her. Yeah, I just, uh, again, it's like, I'm not doubting her video production skills. I'm just saying her as a person. It's like she represents a part of Japan YouTube that I really don't like. And hell, I probably represent a part of Japan YouTube that other people don't like too. And I'm not saying that she's a shitty person because I don't know her. I only am talking about her videos, right? And from that one time I met her, and, you know, for all I know, she's a really nice person and everything. But, but again, it's like she, like, it seems like everybody has the thing where it's like, I'm really stressful. I'm really stressful. It's like, what are you stressing about? You're a fucking white person in Tokyo. Your job is literally just being an English tape recorder for a corporation that's just going to throw you away and not give you even a fucking severance package. They don't care. And it's like, I understand that's tough or whatever, but you guys got to remember, like, I live in a fucking box. I live in a box in a fucking, in like a dormitory. I, I live in a, in a slightly upgraded capsule hotel, a long-term capsule hotel. But you know what? It's humbling. I like the fact that I only have to pay like 400 bucks a month for rent. I like the fact that I'm three minutes away from the station. I like that when I come home, there's tons of people from around the world that I can have a conversation with. It's like all these people, I don't know, I feel like the same people that judge me for not having an apartment are the same people that are going to come over and defend her and be like, well, yeah. what did you do, Tiko Sam? What, see, you know, and it, that's fair. That's fair. In fact, I, I encourage that. Whenever somebody talks shit about you, you know, to your, to your face, or at least, you know, they're part of your, the thing is, is like when they're part of your inner circle, it's better. It's better to fucking just confront that shit head on you know don't let it linger don't don't start talking shit behind their back too confront them about it be strong be willing to listen and you know be rational don't get fucking angry and just throw a trash can and start saying i accept your challenge i accept your challenge hey guys don't be like that but again so it's like her you know so she she never adapted to Japanese culture. She's just been a white chick the whole time being in Japan. And you can tell, you can tell if a girl like her, she didn't really know what she's looking for. So she tried dating some Japanese guys. The same thing as fucking Sharla. You know, they try dating Japanese guys. It doesn't work out. They date a foreigner. This has happened to everybody. It's happened to fucking Michaela. It's happened to Sharla. Now it's happened to Kelly Morita. It's like, uh, Japanese, real Japanese guys are too, ah, fuck them. I need to find a Japanese guy who's bilingual in English, who's been in America for a while, because I don't want to adapt to his culture. I want somebody to adapt to my culture. And it's like, I don't know, I, just, I feel that if you really love Japan, are you really gonna look up to somebody like that? Because it's like, again, she's young, she's attractive, she's skinny, she's got, uh, you know, she seems like a nice person on her camera, she's got the video editing skills. 
But again, like, she's going to be this woman who wants to die in Japan. What is she going to do? Is she going to literally be one of those women who's like, yeah, I raised my kids here. And I don't really understand what the language is, but like, you know, when I take them to school, it's, it's really nice. You know, the parents are really nice. I don't really know what they're saying, but it's nice. And it's like, again, like, I understand that this is Japan and uh, females working here. It's tough. You know, it's, it's tough trying to get a leg in, but it wouldn't it be better to get a leg in to some company and have those years of working at a company and, and really kind of, it's like going through boot camp before going to war. And I feel like uh, this is, she's doing the George Bush thing. She's like, oh, I was in the National Guard. Oh man, the war's over. Let's do some cocaine, <laughs> you know? It's like, uh, I don't feel like she put in the work to be somebody who I would personally look up to. And uh, her videos, again, it's like, the great thing about vlogging is that you are sharing your perspective about what's happening in your life at that moment with everybody else and hoping that other people connect to it too. But I feel that her videos are more about the video making versus her actual life, <laughs> if that makes sense. It seems like all these, uh, like there's so many other vloggers now that like they'll either be in Japan for a couple years or they're still, uh, I don't think a lot of them are still here, but they'll, they'll be here for a couple years and they fucking just like, uh, they, uh, they make these like really highly overproduced videos. You know, it feels like I'm watching a commercial for for a fucking visa or something or like a MasterCard. It's like, hey guys, today's my life in Japan. Look at what I did. And it's like, it's like, seriously? It's like, yeah, I went to the, I went to the grocery shop and I bought a lot of imported food because that's what helps my stomach because Japanese food, I don't like Japanese food. And here's my bilingual boyfriend because I never bothered to learn the language and, uh, oh yeah, and I'm getting married because I never bothered to like get any career skills up so I could work at a legit company here to like sponsor my visa long term. Nah, I just got married because it's the easy way. <laughs> it's like, come on. Ah. Um, and again, I think like another thing is that like it, since she's popular, she's just going to keep getting more popular and popular. And then there's going to be a lot more people trying to emulate her and her style and I, I don't know, I just, there, to be fair, there are a lot, there's still a good portion of like bilingual chicks that are out there on the internet that like have their own YouTube channels too that do speak Japanese. Uh, but I just, I don't know. It's, uh, it's one thing I can't really uh, nudge my head over with this stuff, you know? But uh, anyway, yeah, guys, oh, let's see, can I turn over here? Yes, I can. Do, 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 do. But yeah, anyway, guys, I don't know. That's that's my two cents on her. I don't know if there's anything else I really wanted to mention. It's just, uh, yeah, I don't know. These are my opinions about her. Again, I don't know her as a real person just from like her videos. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I just I want to I want to start giving these opinions because. I want to get better at making videos, so I watch videos like hers because they are better. They are better than mine production value wise, but I feel what their, what their, well, what my video lacks in production value, it makes up for in character. And like you see me interact with Japanese people. You see me say fucked up shit to people. And of course, like, you know, apples and oranges, you can't really compare the two, but at least you guys can see that I'm in the shit. Well, it looks like she's just outside in her bubble enjoying her imported food. But anyway, with that being said, guys, what do you think about this series? you think I'm just being an asshole? I need to shut the fuck up, mind my business, stop making videos, <laughs> go kill myself? Or do you think, uh, do you want to hear more opinions about other vloggers that I have? Because I'm curious if anybody else has the same opinion that I have right now. Can I, what is this guy? He pulled over a cop, a car, didn't he? Pulled over a car. What is this guy doing? Yeah, well, anyway, if you guys want to hear more opinions on this, uh, let me know in the comments. <clears throat> and also, what are your opinions on her? Do you like her? Do you not like her? Uh, tell me why, why not? And, uh, yeah, like always, if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor. S -s 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 Smash that like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button, the subscribe bell. 
I don't know why. YouTube, like, just erased, like, 100 fucking subscribers from me the other day. I don't know what happened. I think it's just... Uh, hopefully, those were just bots. If they were just bots, then fuck them. Like, I don't need fake accounts on there. But, um, yeah, you know, just make sure you're subscribed. I got unsubscribed from a bunch of channels that I was subscribed to before. And double check that shit. Make sure it's okay. And, uh, like always, guys, uh, don't forget to check out the playlist at the end. Love your faces. And, uh... Big thank you to everybody on Patreon. Peace, guys. Yeah. Boom.